Hello, my fellow Battle Brawlers. I am here to do an old, original B1 Classic Bakugan review of my favorite Classic Bakugans of the B1 series. And I'm talking about only the smaller ones, not the B2 ones. But I'm going to be showing you guys today all my favorite B1 Bakugan that I have. Um, going to be doing it up here. They're all in here. And I also have one in here. So... I'm going to start with the one in the package since it'll be more simple to get into it. Well, I'm not going to open it, obviously. But it's obviously easier to show right now since it's right in the open. So, first things first, I do have I have this Clear Siege B1 Bakugan. This is one of my favorites that I bought on eBay. I actually paid 87 bucks for this. And that's quite expensive, I'm not going to lie to you. But I won't be opening it, obviously. But... This is my this is one of my favorite Bakugan. This is my only sealed original Bakugan that I own. I will be getting more eventually. But yeah, this guy's really cool. The clear on him is just what they did with it is just still like they, they really did a good job. I, I, I haven't seen too many clear B ones. I have two clear B one Bakugan now. This is my second one. The first one is a clear prey, so I'll show you that one later. But yeah, this right here is probably I gotta say, probably one of my one of my most favorite Bakugan I have bought so far of the original series. I do have other, I have obviously way other more favorite ones, but this is definitely one of my most favorites I have because it's also a siege. I only have this one siege; it's the only siege I have in my collection. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like what they did with the black and the silver on the. Uh, they did the silver on the on the hands, and then they put a little bit of black and silver on his face, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, that'll be it for this one. I am, I showed you guys this one here. So the next one I'm gonna do is a. Uh, I have a whole bunch of B1 Bakugan, right? So, but my favorite ones are the only ones I will be showing, you, which is quite a lot. I have quite a lot of favorites, but I'm gonna move this to the side here. One sec, guys. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys before I, cause I carry him around everywhere because I have two of him. I actually have two of this one. Is a clear B1 pipe. I dropped him. Is a clear B1 Pyrus Dragonoid. He is a little glitchy, obviously, a tiny bit, but he's not too bad. Because I have a mint one in my case. I carry this one around because I have another one. And I've also wanted to carry one around. But he's 420 G power. And he's obviously Pyrus. He's a little, his symbol's a little warm for me carrying him around. But I do have two of him, so that's kind of why I didn't don't really mind, honestly, that it's worn a little bit. Because it just gives more, more of a uniqueness to him. But yeah, this is one of my most favorite Bakugan. It's translucent, clear, Pyrus Dragonoid. And I'm going to show you my other one I didn't put in my uh, clip. My other Bakugan I didn't put in my clips. It's my clear Prius. This guy right here is my favorite Prius I have. And he's also the attribute of Aquas, which is pretty sweet. As uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. As you guys can tell, he is an Aquas Bakugan. And he is... 520 G is I can't think I don't think you guys can really see it really well. No, wait, is it? Yeah, it's 520 G, and then he's also got, he's a G power changer. So like he's not a symbol changer, he's a G power changer. And he's got all sorts of different G powers. There's like there's a 400 G, there's a 540 G, there is a 650 G. Oops. There's a Five is that five six here? Is that I can't really see. It's hard to see. I have to get more light in here. I'll be right back, you guys. I'm just gonna go put on some light. I'm gonna go put on some light here. That way we got a little more light going on. But yeah, so he's got all sorts of little G powers. This one it goes. This one's got six sixty, four hundred, five forty, and yeah, six sixty again. <laughs> but yeah. This guy's my favorite Prius I own. I have actually a couple of Aquas Prius in regular form too, but the I have a custom Aquas Prius I made because he didn't have the symbols in the middle of his spinner. So I put I had two extra Ventus ones, right? So I took one apart and gave him a spinner. And the cool part is it actually has the Aquas symbol on it, if you guys can see. And it's got Ventus and Chaos, so it can change to Ventus and Chaos, unlike the one that I have that's fully original. And I'm going to find them here in a minute. But my next Bakugan I'm going to show you guys is an Aquas Dual Hydronoid. This guy's pretty cool. He's hard to find Dual Hydronoid sometimes. Sometimes he's kind of hard to find, but not always. 
And this guy has 250 G. He's not all. He's not really strong. I guess you could say he's not really strong. What's that, guys? But yeah, he's not the most strongest Bakugan, but he's definitely a really cool Bakugan. I like the Aquas Dual Hydronoid. Then I have a Subterra one, but its jaw's broken. One of its jaws are broken. It doesn't, uh, I had to, I tried to replace the jaw and I ended up breaking it too. But yeah, one of his jaws are broken and it ain't very good that it's broken because I have to get another one, but I'm sure I can fix that eventually. But his G power is 350 G. And yeah, he's a Subterra Hydronoid. And it, actually, this one is weird because this one actually does, this one has a magnet that shows, unlike the Aquas one. But I think that's because this was a first release. This is like one of the first ones they released, right? And then I also have one like that in Darkest too, but I'll have to show you guys later. And then, okay, so my next Bakugans, I'm going to show you since this is on the top clips. I'm showing you guys the top clips first. Is So I have a Heos Tigrera in the original attribute, obviously, in B1. This is another one of my favorite Bakugans because it's, it's in the original six Bakugans that are in the uh, main characters. And it is 300, yeah, 300 G. It's kind of weak, obviously. 300 Gs isn't a whole lot. But, I mean, that's actually not bad, to be honest, either. But I'm going to close it up. I'm going to put this praise aside with the other dragon red, so that, yeah. And then the next Bakugans I'm going to show you are two of my favorite Bakugan B ones that I actually got because they're really hard to find. Is my Mantris, my Mantris Gang. I have a Darkest Pearl one and a Pyrus regular one. And they are both 420 G power, which is kind of, which is really interesting, actually. I got to tell you that, that they're both 420. <laughs> but yeah, this is Pyrus Mantris. He's one of my favorite B1 Bakugans for sure, because it's hard to find these guys. And he's Pyrus. It's also another cool part. I like Pyrus. It's my favorite attribute. And then I got my Darkest Pearl Mantris, which is really cool. This is the first Mantris I actually got. And I got this from a buddy out in Red Deer here in Canada for a trade because I really wanted a mantras and he actually had a mantras so I was pretty happy and when I first got him he had a head issue where he wouldn't open up his head wouldn't open but I fixed it I ended up taking some WD-40 and fixed it but yeah he works perfect man everything works perfect on him he's pretty good to go that's awesome back we're going he's 420 G's I like what they did with I, honestly I like what they did with the green and the red they did a pretty cool interesting thing with that and then with this one they did awesome with the silver and the black but I think his head should be green with or his head should be, at least, or it should still be silver, but with green eyes. I think they should have did instead of black eyes. But, you never know what people sometimes. <laughs> Alright, the next Bakugans I'm going to show you are Preuses again. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one I was talking about before. Original Aquas Preus. And he's actually got the original spinner inside and everything. So, I mean, there's nothing I needed to change on him. This is this my first Aquas Preus that I got in like, this was I got this one a long time ago. This one I got before the one I have that's got the custom symbol. But his symbols change real good. Ooh, one sec. He's a pretty good symbol changer. I noticed that he's not like, his button is weak and spins really good. And then I have two other Preuses here. I have a couple, I have another Preus in here too somewhere. I just gotta find him. And then I got my Pyrus Preus. I like Pyrus. Pyrus is a really cool attribute. He's 350 G. And I like Pyrus. I like Preus and Pyrus because he looks, he, I don't know, he looks really good in Pyrus. I should have made him a Pyrus Bakugan in the show because of the way he looks, man. Pyrus just looks amazing. I like the Pyrus look. And his symbols work pretty good, too. Yeah. That's awesome, man. I like Preus. And to have a Pyrus one is pretty cool. And then I got a Ventus one. And yes, I didn't I didn't put my custom uh, my other two cut my I have a darkest custom Prius and a Ventus custom Prius from the the Ventus Prius that I used actually was the one that I used the uh, symbol on this one from. But I didn't put my customs in here because I don't have the uh, symbols on their things. And not only that, I lost the springs for their buttons, which kind of sucks and throws a damper on that. But oh well. But yeah, Ventus Preus is pretty cool. He is 400 G power. And he's actually, he's like almost brand new. This Bakugan is literally in like mint condition. It's like almost brand new. It's actually very surprising how some of them come in as good a condition as they do. And I need to also let, inform other, I need to inform all you brawlers about something. About Preus. So first off, and I know this isn't that important. But Preus' arms, you see how his arms are like way back like that? They're not supposed to be on any of them. 
and yet they almost all are for some odd reason, it's because they got worn. Those are actually supposed to be like this. They're not supposed to be like widened. They're not supposed to be, I don't know how to explain it. If you guys can see the differences, the arms on this one are actually proper as where these ones are too far back. They're not supposed to be that far back. But all prayas, for some odd reason, after years of being used, get worn out so bad that their arms actually end up remaining going back. But it doesn't really bother me. It's still like a normal Bakugan. And he's a real Prius, so I mean. And not only that, he was one of the first ones they actually released because he's got the uh he's got the bear magnet showing, so it's one of the first releases of Aqua's Prius that they did make. I know that much. But this one's got the plastic over the um the magnet, and I think the Pyrus one's got the whole the whole the, the showing magnet. This Prius right here has got a covered magnet. Unlike the other Aquas Prius. This Aquas Prius right here has got a covered magnet because it's the clear Prius. But yeah, Aquas Prius, or Ventus Prius is pretty cool, man. I have, I, I need to get him in Subterra and Chaos still. I think there's another attribute, I can't remember. <laughs> but I need to get all the Priuses anyway in every color and every attribute. I like Prius. He's one of my favorite Bakugan for sure. They did a really good job making this guy. And then I will, I'm going to get into the other clip here since it's got my other Prius in it. And then I got my darkest Prius. And his arms are also the like, they're also like the Ventus Prius. Because I actually took another darkest Prius and switched his body out. Because I wanted the higher G-Power with the symbols. Instead of the lower G-Power with the symbols, right? And this is actually one of the, uh, one of the, one of the few darkest Bakugan that I actually really, really like. And his symbols are pretty cool too, they work. And actually, I could have took a darkest one and put, I could have used the darkest one and put the, uh, I could have put this symbol -y thing in the Aquas one and it would have been proper in a way, aside from the coloring, because it has all the same symbols as Aquas Preus does, like the actual Aquas Preus. It has Subterra, Aquas, and Darkest. There's, there's, you can see there's Darkest, then there's Subterra, and then there is the Aquas symbol right there. And Darkest has Darkest. Aquas and Subterra. So you gotta think right there, that's pretty close to the same similarities that that would be, right? But yeah, these are pretty awesome. I like Bakugan, man. Bakugan are one of my favorite things. And I have two other. Well, actually, they're my most favorite thing. I'm not gonna lie, they're my most favorite thing. But now I'm gonna get into these guys. I have two Garganoids. I have a Pearl Ventus one. And it is a really cool Bakugan. I actually, I, I used to have a Garganoid when I was a kid. It was an Aquas one. I think it was the only one I ever owned. And then now I got two of them in my collection now. And this one is 390G. If you can see, it's got, if you guys can see it, it's got 390G in the wing there. But yeah, Pearl Ventus looks really good. And yes, for all, for those of you who didn't know, yes, Garganoid's horns are supposed to lift up like that. They are. People, some people just didn't know that, and I actually didn't know that people didn't know that. You'd think that they would've, but they got, they got my Aquas Garganoid at 250G, and he, I like the Aquas Garganoid too, he looks really good, but I like my Pearl one quite a lot too, so I gotta say, Pearl Bakugan are pretty dope looking, same with the uh, Translucence, but all Bakugan are awesome, man, in my opinion. Next clip I'm gonna get into is my Hydranoid clip, because I do have other Hydranoids I was talking about before. This Ventus one doesn't like to open very well. He glitches. Like, he doesn't like to... I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with him. Ugh, I don't. Aside from the magnet's a little sticky, too. Oop. Shoot. But, like, you put him on a card and he doesn't open. Unless you, like, smack him down decent a bit. But, yeah, Hydranoid Ventus Pearl is 520G. This is another one of my favorites. Actually, I got lucky. I found this in a value village, I think, actually. I'm pretty sure. I got this in a value village hall, and that was a pretty cool find, because finding pearl hydronoids are a hard enough task as it is. And to find another, to find a Ventus pearl one, this is my first Ventus pearl one. I've had a subterra, I've had a couple subterra pearl ones in my time, and I've had a bunch of darkest pearl ones in my time. But I've never once owned a Ventus pearl one, so that's pretty cool for the hydronoids, man. That's dope. That is a really cool back one. I like the way it looks, man. I really do. They, used, they, they, did, they did good using the purple on them, too. That would have went good with Darkest, actually. And then I got my Darkest Pearl Hydranoid. This guy's really cool. He is 580 Gs. It's weird because the G power on the Pearl Ventus one is on a different spot than it is on the uh, Darkest Pearl one. The Darkest Pearl one's G power is actually right there 
as where the Ventus one was actually up in uh, in this vicinity, which is kind of weird. But yeah, Hydronoid Darkus. I like dual Hydronoid and Darkus. I'm actually getting the single-headed Hydronoid soon. He's, like, he's missing his horn. Unfortunately, he's missing a horn, unfortunately. But that doesn't really bother me because I know I will find another Hydronoid or, another, or, or I will make another horn for him one way or another, man. Because I can. I can customize myself Bakugan parts to uh, work for Bakugan. I've actually done it in the past. Even if it's made out of wood or something, you know. But my next Hydronoid, I'm gonna, my last Hydronoid I'm showing you guys that I have in my B1 collection is my darkest dual Hydronoid who's also got a little bit of the same problem. He likes to glitch. But he's also got the magnet showing. It's, it's one of the uh, magnet showing ones. But... He's 400G, and I know for 100% this guy is a legit Hydronoid Duel, because when they when it comes to fake Duel Hydronoids, they make a lighter purple in the coloring for it, unlike the one that they have now. Like, some of them are a little, like, this one's a special one, right? Like, they have, uh, it came in a, I don't know how to explain it, it's a Japan import, I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is, it's one of the Japan import ones. But he's not a fake one by any means, he's straight out legit, like, this Hydronoid is legit. And he is a little glitchy on the one head, obviously. I have to reclose him. One sec, guys. I'm going to reclose him and try to open him up again. Okay, his head's stuck. <laughs> his head got stuck. Oh, there we go. There we go. But yeah, this is my favorite of the Hydronoids I got so far. I do have an Alpha Hydronoid, obviously. But yeah. This Hydronoid's pretty good condition for the most part, aside from the little glitchiness that he has. But yeah, I like this dual hydronoid. His, his stripe is actually in really good condition too. When I got this, it was in a... Uh, I can't remember where I got this. I got it in a lot. I got this in a lot from somewhere. I think it was either at either off of Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, or from Value Village. I'm thinking it was Facebook Marketplace that I got this hydronoid. It's really hard to remember that. I actually can't remember where exactly I got this dual hydronoid. Oh no, I do. I remember exactly where I got him. I got him from my buddy Sean, actually. I made him a trade for it. I totally forgot about that. It, was, it passed my mind for a minute. But yeah, my buddy Sean out here actually traded me this Hydronoid. And he also traded me an original Ventus Skyrus in the original correct color. So, I mean, that's how you can tell that's legit. If that Skyrus is legit, this is legit, man. And not only that, the fake ones have a, the, the fake ones metal isn't actually a metal stripe, if you haven't noticed. Some of them come plastic, but some of them are metal, yes. But... This is a more heavier duty metal than the ones that they use on the fake ones. Like, it actually matches the size or the weight of the pearl one. Like, literally, the fake ones don't normally match the weight of the uh, regular Bakugan. They are a slight bit lighter. And I, I do know this 100% for a fact because I used to collect the fake ones back when I was a kid. And then I stopped collecting them because I thought they were pieces of shit and they could fall apart. Pardon my language. But, yeah. Hydronoid is definitely one of the top guns for Bakugan. I like I like Hydronoid. He's pretty cool, but he's not. He's the, he's one of my favorite, but he's not my most favorite. My most favorite, I'll be showing you in the very last in the very last in the very last of this video. Is what I mean. I don't even know how far I am into this video. I am 18 minutes and 31 seconds into this video. So the next clip I'm going to show you, I got Subterragorum. I've had this for quite a long time, actually, quite a few years. Uh, I think this was also a value village find, but it also could have been a marketplace find. It's really hard to remember that stuff, to be honest with you. But yeah, this was a cool find. He's the Subterra original Gorum, 450G. Definitely stronger than Heos Tigura. <laughs> but I got Heos Tigura, Gorum, Subterra, and then Aqua's Praise in here. And I also got Pirate Dragon, so that's pretty dope. Next Bakugan I'm going to show you is one of my favorite darkest Bakugan I got too. Darkest Reaper. This guy is an original Reaper, and he is real. Yeah, as you guys can tell, he's got the mag he's the plastics covering the man. He's obviously real. Hey, he's four hundred and fifty G. Now I do I I do have two of them, but one of them's getting traded to my uh to my friend on Facebook for a couple of other back gone because I have two of them. The other the other Reaper I'm trading though, it's magnet shows in the bottom, and it has three hundred and fifty Gs. I think is what it was. That's why I kept I kept, I kept the higher G power one because I like the I like 450 G that actually makes him that actually suits him as his proper G power that that's I like the stronger G power that's always a better better go when you choose to keep the stronger G power and then I also got Subterra B1 Dragonoid now 
he has some kind of a blue ink on his G power, but it is 370 G. It is not. In, he's actually in pretty good condition. Like he closes amazingly. He's in actually. He's almost in brand new condition aside from that little mark on the uh, G power that's got. It's like pen ink or something. I don't know. But I got this guy in a trade from. I can't remember who now. It's really hard to remember who the heck I got this in a trade from. I think I got it from my buddy Sean, but I could be wrong. I think it's someone else on Facebook. I can't remember. It's really hard to remember that. No, it wasn't Sean. I don't know who it would have been. I'm trying to think on that. I know I, I know I traded someone on the Facebook group for this, and that's how I got this, because I wanted him. May have even been Tariq. I don't remember. It's really hard to remember any of that stuff. But yeah. Subterra B1 Dragonoid. I like my Dragonoids. I'm trying to collect every single Dragonoid and every variant and every color and all that, right? And I'm doing pretty good so far, I gotta tell you. And next box I'm gonna show you. Shoot, I dropped, uh, I dropped a Subterra clip, I'll put that aside. Next box I'm gonna show you is a Ventus Translucent B1 Dragonoid. He is actually my first Translucent Dragonoid I've actually ever owned in B1 version, believe that or not. And he is 400G. He has 400Gs, man. This guy was one of my first Translucent Dragonoids I owned in like years. As a kid, I think I had one B1 Translucent Dragon Note, but it's really hard to remember. I know my brother Levi did because he got it from someone I accidentally broke it on. And that was when I was a kid, and I didn't mean to. It was during the middle of winter, back when I was in grade 5. I was messing around with this kid named Patrick, and he had his Translucent Dragonoid on him. And we were in the snow, and we fell, and I ended up crushing the Dragonoid, and his wing broke. And... He was a little upset about it, but I told him I was super sorry, and he he forgave me. I was I did not mean to break his dragonoid whatsoever, and that was a complete accident. And that was years ago, and then he ended up giving it to my brother Levi, and he took care of it for quite a while, kept the wing even for it, and kept putting it back on every time it fell off, and we'd even put the spring back into place. We even one day I think we ended up gluing it, and then we ended up losing it later on in life because it's broken, right? So I mean we ended up losing it, but yeah. This is my first Translucent Dragonoid I've had in a long, long, long time. Ventus Translucent Dragonoid. And actually, I like the Ventus Translucent for him because he actually looks really good. But I'm going to put that aside. I like Translucent Bakugan. They are really cool. One I bought on eBay. This one I bought brand new on eBay. It was sealed and everything. But I decided to open it. And this was back when I was living in Leduc. This is the first original Bakugan I bought brand new in years off of eBay ever. This is the first one I ever bought off eBay. Of the original Bakugan. And he is in absolute mint condition. Because he came straight out of a package. And was put straight into a into a Baku clip. So I've kept him in pretty dang good pristine condition. He is B1 Ventus form. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah how much Jesus is he again? And he is also 300 G power. He isn't, exa he isn't exactly the strongest. But I, I paid like 25 bucks for this. So it wasn't really that bad. And that's Ventus Dragonoid. Because Dragonoid isn't cheap man. He's a pretty rare Bakugan actually. People may not think he's rare, rare, but he's pretty dang rare. And I, I have to say, Dragonoid is definitely my favorite of the rare background. Even over the single-headed Hydranoid, man. Dragonoid is definitely my most favorite. I got Aquas Dragonoid. I got this in a trade from someone, I, th I think, or I got it in a value village. I can't remember. It came either in a lot or in a something. I can't remember where I got the Aquas Dragonoid. But he is 400G. He has 400G. All my Dragonoids, believe it or not, actually all have covered magnets. Every single one of them. The Subterra one's got a cover one. The Ventus one's got a cover one. The, the Translucent ones have got a covered magnet. It's nuts. Every one of them have covered magnets. Not one of them have the uh, magnets that show, which is kind of which is kind of cool but weird, you know? Like it's, it's Usually you'd find them with the magnet showing. But yeah, Aquas Dragonoid's completely mint, man. Like, I don't remember exactly where I got him. But he's like, he's almost as mint as Ventus Dragonoid. He's as mint as Ventus Dragonoid is, man. Oop, my uh, Pyro's Mantra's open. There we go. I had to smack the magnet down a bit just to keep it closed. Next clip I'm going to get into. Actually, no, I'm going to get into the, dra uh, the original Dragonoid one again. My last original, like, my last original first stage Dragonoid collection for the B1s. I, I do have another regular Pyros one, but I put them up on the, on a shelf with my Dragonoid collection because, well, I don't really need two in a clip. But, yeah, the first one I'm going to show you is my darkest one. I have the darkest one. I got this from a, a trade from Tarika Hood. Now, it is a little misprint, I've noticed. It, he's slightly misprint. They, they put a lot of extra paint 
right on the side of his face, man. Like that is that is kind of completely misprint, man. They they messed up on that pretty big. That's a lot of extra paint they used on that spot, man. It really it really dripped. That's not good. But it's very entertaining. And you know what? It's unique in his own way. That means that he's just unique. He's just my unique darkest dragonoid. And actually, the G power is 470 Gs. He's probably the strongest of the uh, off attribute dragonoids I got. But the strongest one I have has got to be the 520G Pyrus B1 Dragonoid, which will be the one I'm showing you next. This guy right here is one of my favorite Bakugans for the fact he's the original Dragonoid. Pyrus Dragonoid. And he is he looks really good in Pyrus. He's 520 Gs. The magnets also covered just like all the other ones. He's uh he's actually in mint condition. This guy's he's, he's as mint as the other guys I just put up in the video. All my Bakugan I keep in pretty good condition, man. If I get him in a little worn out condition, that doesn't really matter. Cause in the end of the day, it's in my collection and I don't really care if they're really a little worn. A little worn isn't too bad, but if if they're mint, that's even better, you know. But this is my second translucent dragon. Ooh, didn't open that time. This is my second translucent dragon. Usually he opens the first time I throw him on to a card. Just making sure I didn't mess him up when I took I because I I took the screw out one time to fix something. I think. I think it was this one or it was the other one. Now this one opens good now. Okay, there we go. But yeah. B1 Translucent Pyrus Dragonoid. If you want proof I got, actually got two. Here is the proof I got. Two B1 Translucent Dragonoids. I have the B2 Translucent one as well. For the Dan Cuso Evolution set. It's in my back rack. But he's a little... He's, he's messed up. I had to use a different Dragonoid neck on him. Because the one that was on him, the uh, back piece that holds his head down... There's little clips on the back. As you can see, you know those little clips on the back of Dragonoid's head that keeps him closed? Like the little tiny little notch there? Those break like super, super easy. I am not even joking. Those break like so easy. And that was the issue with my B2 one. And actually, that was the issue with a lot of my Dragonoid's back in the day. As that little back headpiece always broke off eventually. But yeah. Bakugan are really awesome. I try to take as good a care of them as I can, you know. And the last two clips I'm going to show are really cool ones. So, first Bakugan I'm going to show you is one of my other favorites. It's a darkest... It's a, I have to move this box out of the way, guys. Sorry about that. It's dark... Or not darkest, sorry. Ventus uh, Cycloid Darkest. Jesus, I don't know why I have darkest in the mind. But yeah, dark... Or, Venticite, it's because I used to it's because I used to have a pearl darkest one, but I traded it to my buddy. Um Sean for something. I can't remember what, but he wanted it, right? So I traded him it. But this one I kept because it's 580 G. And yeah, he looks really cool. I like Ventus. And, this, and that's that and still my only cyclid, so I wasn't really gonna get rid of my only cyclid. I got rid of my pearl one, which was bad enough in trading that one, which I shouldn't uh, I should have kept that pearl darkest one. But I'm all right with that. I traded him off on my own, on my own accord, so it didn't really bother me. Now the next Bakugan I'm gonna show you is Ventus Pearl Skyrus. This is a B1 Bakugan that is actually one of my favorites. This one, this one I actually found in a Value Village. This one I actually found in a Value Village. Believe that or not, this was a Value Village find, and I actually remember that straight up, 100%. This was a Value Village find, and I'm very happy to have him, cause yeah. And not only that, I have three Ventus Pearls now. I have three Ventus Pearl Bakugan. But yeah, Ventus Pearl Skyrus. One of my uh, favorite B1 Bakugan for sure. Because, you know, it's the Skyrus and it's Ventus. That's always cool to find the Ventus one. And I also got... This is the one I got from a trade from my buddy Sean. The actual Ventus Skyrus. This one is actually original. It has the plastic over the magnet too, believe that or not. This one's real, you can tell it's real. With the plastic cover the magnet, most of it. Like, there is, all the ones with the magnets showing too, there is real ones, but there's also, the, the fake ones that they made also had their magnets exposed, like the like some of the older, first release original Bakugans had uh, exposed magnets. Well, some of them back in the day, for the fake ones, all the fake ones back in the day had exposed magnets too, but the fake ones... They'd stick to your other magnet of your back one because the magnet side they used on their fake ones was the opposite attractor to this and it stuck. And that's what I hated about those fake ones. They would stick to your back one and you're opening your back one, right? But this guy is 
350G. Oops, shoot. I dropped my Ventuskyrus. <sighs> One sec, let me uh make sure he's not damaged by dropping him. There you go, he's good. But yeah, I dropped him on another back. <sighs> but yeah, he's 350G. He's actually in pretty dang good condition, man. Like, Sean took a pretty good took pretty good care of him. I think he was the original owner of this Bakugan, believe it or not. And then I became the original. And then I became the second ever owner of this Bakugan. So, yeah, I got to tell you, I'm keeping him in as best of condition as I can. You can tell his face has got a couple little scratches on it. Just slightly on the cheek. on By where his little designs are. Right up in this spot. There's tiny, tiny, couple little small little spots that look like he got scratched or something. But he's a really good Bakugan. I'm going to be... I've been taking pretty good care of him. He's actually in pretty dang good condition, man. Like, he doesn't even look like... You can hardly notice the scratches, really, when you're looking at him. Because, of like, the condition is actually really not that bad. When you find original Bakugan, sometimes it's a hit and miss with them. Because you could either get a damaged one or a non-damaged one. And so far, I've been getting pretty lucky. There was the odd few that I'd get that were damaged, right? But I'd fix them. Because I actually know how to fix Bakugan. Then the last three B1s for this review... And this video is getting pretty long as a 31 minute video. Last last couple of last few back for this review. Uh Chaos B1 Dragonoid Delta. I actually got this in a value village. This in a hundred percent, I know that. It's 350 G's. It's pretty cool. And also Delta Dragonoid is a pretty cool. I like what they did with the red and the purple on the Chaos. I have a B2 Chaos Delta Dragonoid too, actually. But yeah, it isn't B1, so I wasn't showing him in a lot. I also have a B2 Translucent Skyris original, too. Like, first stage. But I wasn't showing that in the video because it's B2 and it's not B1. It's one of my favorite B2 Bakugan, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I have three really, really favorite B2 Bakugan. And then this one right here. Pyrus Pearl Delta Dragonoid. This one, I believe I got in a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Now, he isn't the first Pyrus Pearl Delta Dragonoid I ever owned. The one, the first one I had ever owned, I traded to my buddy Jordan for a B2 Delta Dragonoid Pyrus. And he still got that Pearl Dragonoid Delta. And that Pearl Pyrus Delta Dragonoid, I actually found in Value Village. This one I got on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. And it is absolutely in, like, he's in amazing, amazing condition. Like, his stripe is even still kind of, like, shiny. That's nuts. You don't find too many really good condition. Delta Dragonoids, man, like that. And he is also... One sec, I'm trying to find the G-Power. 560 G. 560 G. Now, I know some of them have a different G-Power. I noticed that some of these Pearl Delta Dragonoids, Pyrus, have different G-Powers. Some of them are all the same, but... Like, when you get... Say if you get this, they will all be the same G-Power. In fact, I didn't even tell you the G-Power of this one. This one's 540 G's. If you got another if you got another Ventus Pearl Skyrus in B1 like this, it would be 540 G's as well. Just like the Aquas Pearl Skyrus. Now, I don't know what they did with this guy to make it different, but they changed the G powers on him every so often. One's 580, one's 590, one's 560. You can get those in Pyrus Delta Pearl, which I didn't know that. I thought you can only get them in one G power. <clears throat> I know that most of the other pearls, you can only get them in one G power. And then my last one for this video, my favorite of all the Delta Dragonoids. One I cannot even believe I got, and I got on a Facebook Marketplace buy with in a huge lot of Bakugan. I literally got it in a huge pile of Bakugan. Was this guy, Pyrus Delta Dragonoid Original. And he is not really strong. He's only 300G, but he's completely, he's authentic. You can tell 100% he's authentic. There's not one piece off about him that makes him not. He's completely authentic. He's got the exposed magnet. He's one of the first releases of Delta Dragonoid they came out with. That's how you can tell it's the exposed magnet. It's like my, uh, where is he? My dual hydronoid here, the exposed magnet. They're one of the first, these, are, these two are some of the first releases. And yes, it is super cool to see both of these guys in a row like that yeah yeah man it's like yeah darkest and pyrus in their correct colors man and then not only that not only that i'm not even finished yet with that i gotta show you this is my last part of this video and then i'm ending this video off but not only that but just think about it i also got the pearl pyrus delta dragonoid and the pearl darkest dual hydronoid too you got to admit, that is a pretty cool coincidence, man. 
that I'd have all four of those, man, like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. These are these are my most these are these are here are my most favorite B1 Bakugan that I own out of all of them. And this guy is my next most favorite, along with my translucent dragonoids. But these guys right here are my most favorite B1s. Oh yeah, and this is this guy's also obviously one of my favorites too. Obviously. But my most favorites have gotta be these four right here. These four right here are probably my prized possessions for B1 Bakugan. Hard to find these guys. This guy and this guy, these two right in the back, the correct colors, that one and the darkest, they are the hardest to find. I gotta tell you that. I'm not even joking. Those are two of the hardest B1 Bakugan to find. But, not, not, not just saying that the only hardest ones to find, these guys right here, these guys right here are very, very hard to acquire. Especially in clear form. But yeah, same with the Translucent Dragonoid, believe it or not. Pyrus Translucent Dragonoid's a little hard to acquire too here and there. But he's a lot easier to find compared to a Siege. Even the regular Siege is impossible to find, man. It's almost hard to find these guys. I am so happy I have this one sealed. It's not even funny. But anyway, that's going to end this video off here for now. That's going to end it off, you know, because, well, that's pretty much it for this one. But that's... That's the review of all my favorite B1 Bakugan. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe. I will be doing more uploads like this. I have a review on my diamonds I'm going to be doing. Probably not today, probably not tomorrow. But in a little while anyway, because once I get more diamonds, because I, I have a whole lot of diamonds, but once I get more diamonds, I want to do a huge review on all my diamonds when I have every single one together. Because once I know that I have all the diamonds, then I can actually review them all. But right now, I can only review all the ones I have. And I have quite a lot of diamonds. I have almost one of every single diamond almost out, except for certain ones. There's a lot that I'm missing. There's I'm not going to say almost every single one, I guess. But there's a lot I'm missing. I almost have all the Battle Planet ones. I can tell you that. There is Diamond Serpentis Ultra I am missing. And Diamond Hales Corgorthion I'm missing. And Diamond Corsindius is another one I'm missing. I think those are the last diamonds from Battle Planet I'm missing, but I can't be 100% certain. Oh, and Diamond Pegatrix Ultra Battle Planet I'm missing too. Almost forgot about that one. Because I traded my only one off to uh, my friend Tarika because he wanted it real bad. So I was like, you know what? If you trade, Because he traded, he traded me a Diamond Trucks Ultra that time for it, and that's how I ended up trading that. I almost regret trading that Pegatrix because literally I've been finding Diamond Trucks Ultras like crazy. And I'm talking about... These Diamond Trox Ultras. I keep finding the original one too, but I keep finding these ones now, and it is driving me nuts. Because this is probably like my fifth or sixth one of this. And I got rid of all the other ones, except for the one I have. I have I have an unopened one, but I only keep my unopened ones. I get rid of all the sealed ones. I, trade, I, I either trade them or sell them. So... And it helps me, they, the ones that I trade off that are, the one, the, the reason I trade off my sealed ones and I don't keep any sealed new ones is because you know what, they can help me get ones that I don't have already, to be honest with you. And that's what I use those for. Extra Bakugan, if I ever have doubles, is what I use that for, is to get ones I don't have already. Pretty much for the most part. But anyways, comment, like, subscribe, I will be doing more Bakugan uploads again too. And a lot more magnet fishing uploads obviously too, because I've been doing quite a bit of those lately. But anyways, comment, like, subscribe. I will be uploading lots more. I'm sorry I keep saying that stuff all the time. Yeah, I'm trying to learn not to do that all the time and just repeat myself, you know. But anyway, I'm going to go now. So peace out and back on brawl. I'm up out of here.